I don't know the goddamn uh, 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 Chicago fucking drill rappers. I topped out at King Louis. I don't fuck with that retarded ass. Know what I'm saying? Because you talking about that deaf shit, but you only talking about that deaf shit when it come to niggas. How many goddamn police didn't hit niggas in Chicago? Why the fuck you ain't got no goddamn song as for their goddamn location? You don't need their location because you can see them out there. Why in the fuck they ain't the goddamn ops? Why aren't the police the ops? Figure out why the fuck your music ain't went nowhere. You begging motherfuckers on Instagram Live to listen to your new mixtape because it's heat. I don't mind being a bear of bad news, my nigga. Your shit is trash. Call up these people at Quality Key Production so they can get you some old lyrics. They can get you some old concepts. They can get you the beats that you motherfucking need to get your shit to the next level. Get your shit together, big homie. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is... A lot of folks been fucking with this teal color right here. It's live as fuck. And this is a navy blue. Um, I like that. I, I poked the navy blue at the live show. If y'all haven't seen that live show, make sure you go see that. Uh, make sure you understand that you do go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious to get your are you serious t-shirts for only $20 and your are you seriously talking about the big face podcast hats for $25 um, we're doing them in all red make sure that you send your pictures in um, once you get them so I can put them in the video collage that I'm going to do um I'm gonna do it once a month, showing everyone who, you know what I'm saying, got their shit and rocked out. So make sure you send your pictures to one of my social media inboxes. Um, and that, that PayPal is not the PayPal that you go to for donations and advertisement. The PayPal for all that shit is in the description box. All right. Chicago rappers are helping the fucking police. Chicago rappers, Chicago drill rappers are helping the fucking police. 52 shootings. 52 shootings. Um, Last weekend, 52 shootings, 12 folks dead, I think. Um, and right after that, there was a fucking bait car put in the home, right in the heart of the, you know what I'm saying, of the hood in Chicago, of the hood hood. Because no one would get in that car, and the car was full of Nikes. The car was full of Nikes. And because nobody got in the goddamn car, every officer on that steam team, which were, they were all white, said that we are going to arrest any motherfucker that comes up to the window and tries to investigate what's inside this car. The car was left running, full of Nikes in the back seat. And they arrested every fucking little kid that walked up to the window like, what's going on now? I ask you, how much more evidence do you need? At this point in time, how much more evidence do you need? I think that these motherfuckers have shadow channels, shadow accounts to where it, it'll look like a regular 
um, Instagram motherfucker, a regular Twitter motherfucker, a regular Facebook motherfucker, and they'll just say some shit like, fuck, you know what I'm saying, 300, fuck 600, fuck Tuka, fuck Brick, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever nigga is on whatever side, it's somebody, it's a white supremacist acting like he got a, he got a, account that's just a regular nigga like polos and you just got a nigga pictures whatever like that and he on that bitch just woofing and it's just like he it's not gonna be him the whole time it's gonna be somebody else and it's gonna be like and it's just gonna it's they do that to keep up the shit so then when here goes this war kicks off they have the public's blessing when they do this type of racist bullshit this is no fucking different than what George Bush did when he um, took down the Twin Towers. When he took down, when 9-11 took place, that was him getting the public to back him on that oil lick. That was a lick. That nigga hit a lick. He just needed us to be on his side. Like, yeah, this shit is... See what the fuck they did to us? You can't find a tape where Osama Bin Laden took credit for that shit. Nigga was denying that shit to the heart. And why the fuck would he deny it? If that's what you rocking with, if you... You know what I'm saying? If I'm... Fuck these... If fuck the infidels, they take credit for that work. They take credit for that work. Like, they, they go out real deal like, nigga, I'm a legend. I'm the one that did that. This nigga said, no, we ain't do that there. We ain't do that there. But that, that's, I'm, I'm going to some whole other shit, but that's what you need. You need the support of the public. You need the people not to look at you as what you are, which is a racist, a white supremacist, a criminal. You need them to look at you as if you are a necessary um, aggressor, as a hero. Batman had a dark side, like he beat up the criminals, but like we don't mind him beating up the people because he's only beating up criminals. But he took the law to his own goddamn hand. What the fuck is Batman doing? Hey, dog, you ain't the motherfucker. You don't know what the fuck I'm doing out here, dog. I'm like this whole southern nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just southern nigga, goddamn nigga, say you want a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I mean, though, I'm at the gas station, all of a sudden, goddamn Batman come out of nowhere. You're going down. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Man, who, who the fuck called this nigga? And this nigga just beat me the fuck up and leave me hanging on the goddamn street light for the police to come cut me down. And then all of a sudden, the police just, yeah, I know he did something wrong. Batman got him. Or Spider-Man got him. This is what's going on here. These are necessary shits. Necessary, like, heroes. Because our crime problem is so big. Our crime problem is so strong. That's what just took place. You put a motherfucking bait car in the middle of fucking Chicago right after, not two days after, one of the biggest fucking gunfights of all time. And the public is not... So, when my mixtapes put this video up of this, this fucking bait car full of Nikes, it's like, who do we go, who do we want to garner uh, sympathy from? Do we think we're going to garner sympathy from the white people? Because the white people just saw the hospital being on lockdown because there was so much going on in that motherfucker. Imagine what happened at that hospital. You got niggas on both. A war just took place. 52 shootings, 12 folks died. But at 52 shootings, you got this motherfucking families coming from all over every corner of the city going to the hospital trying to make sure that they child, they loved one, ain't one of the fucking 12 that's going to die or that died. And just imagine you at the hospital, then some more motherfuckers come in. More motherfuckers come in. From each side of the goddamn city. Like, what the fuck? It's about to be a shootout in the goddamn... 
hospital. You got all these motherfuckers mixing because niggas from both sides is getting hit. It had to go on lockdown. Let's get down to talk about how the rappers help though. Chicago rappers. Chicago drill rappers. Let's talk about it. How the fuck? Don't get me started, dog. I say Chicago rappers help the police because you're not helping us. If you're not helping us out here, if we, if it's 52 motherfucking shootings out this bitch and you got the power, you got the influence, you a big time gangster, got big time respect and we're not being helped by you, then you must be helping the other side. This isn't one of them situations where you can sit back on the sideline like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna stay out this year. I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna stay out this year. Whoa, dog. What's up? Like, I'm sorry, I'm talking the big names. The big names. Lil Dirk, G Herbo. The nigga 600 Breezy in jail, I think. Rico Reckless. I don't really know these nigga like that. Hold on. Anki, if I gotta come out there, I'ma put some on your ass, boy. I don't know the goddamn uh, 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 Chicago fucking drill rappers. I topped out at King Louis. I don't fuck with that retarded ass. Know what I'm saying? Cause you talking about that death shit, but you only talking about that death shit when it come to niggas. How many goddamn police didn't hit niggas in Chicago? Why the fuck you ain't got no goddamn song as for their goddamn location? You don't need their location cause you can see them out there. Why in the fuck they ain't the goddamn ops? Why aren't the police the ops? You talking about all and every fucking facet and every way that you can kill a black man and his children. You talk about all the ways that you can harm him and his children and his mother's house. You know all different ways to do that. But the only reference that you have to police officers in your music is running from them. I don't fuck with 12, period. I don't fuck with 12, period. But if you a nigga, I'll kill everybody in your family. But when you go to court, that motherfucking prosecutor, if you to my nigga disrespecting you, my nigga, when you go to court, the prosecutor say shit about you as if she been knowing you since y'all were born, dog. Prosecutor being that bitch talking about you like she know you, dog. Ain't no real street nigga alive that done been in court and once that prosecutor go to talking about why they don't want to give you bail, a nigga don't got to look. Hey. No. If the lawyer don't have to tell you to stay quiet, like, hold on, hold on. when that prosecutor is talking, my nigga, you not no real street nigga. Just go ahead, go and kill that shit. The prosecutor is gonna talk the most shit with your life on the line that a nigga ever heard in his fucking life, dog. Pure point blank. Why the fuck you ain't got no goddamn song asking for the prosecutor location? Cause you know goddamn well, nigga, even if you make a song about that shit, they're gonna come swoop your stupid ass. But you swivel right on around that shit. You swivel right the fuck on around that shit. This shit come down to the goddamn Chicago rappers. With all that clout, all that money, all that respect, 
All them young niggas that fuck with y'all. 52 shoes. 12 depths. Not one on white, not one on a fucking police officer. You'll go to war about a nigga saying if that nigga misspeak on Twitter. This whole shit, and that's another thing, this whole shit was started on Twitter, which, while I'm telling y'all, the white supremacists, you know what I'm saying, because he know, the white supremacists know, all I gotta do is throw a stake, you know what I'm saying, all I gotta do is slap the ass of one of these dogs, they gonna go to fighting for no fucking reason, they ain't number animals. I was just talking, to, like, me and D was in this whole the other day, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Aki and Saki, and like, you know, they get to the age where they fighting and shit like that, and he like, shit, all you gotta do, goddamn, when they get face to face and shit like that, smack one of them on the ass, you know what I'm saying, they need to go to hidden, because they don't know nothing. They animals, that's animal instinct. We human beings. The thing that, what, what distinguishes us from animals is our um, reasoning, uh, uh, ability to use logic. But all a motherfucker gotta do is get on a shadow account and say some bullshit and now, 52 fucking shootings. And that's just the beginning. Because not two days after that, they implemented Operation Nike Chick. They implemented Operation Nike Chick. Where... And let me talk to you niggas. Because if anybody confused at this point about, you know what I'm saying, what's going on? What I'm saying is, my nigga, if you got clout, my nigga, if you a real drill, I'm not talking about the conscious niggas, you know, you know, niggas in the city that doing their thing and and, and, and and making sure they goddamn Chicago, you know, trying to help Chicago and shit like that. You got Bo, Vic Mensa, uh, you know, uh, Lupe Fiasco, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas who really are trying to help and, and bring, I don't want to say consciousness, but trying to bring understanding to where, because it's like my nigga, 52 people, there were 52 shootings, 12 people died, and not one police officer was injured. Not one police officer was even talked to in a violent manner. And it's like, I say that because it's like, if there's anyone to be upset at, at this point in time, it would be the government, wouldn't it? Because our issues aren't because of that nigga that you shot at, that nigga that you killed. That nigga wasn't holding you down. He wasn't the reason why you don't have any money. He, he's not the one that pumped into your brain that you need this pill. Well, uh, I, I kind of, because... If that nigga rap, that nigga might have. But they're not the reason, like, they're not the ones that are attacking you subliminally. He's not your enemy. He's not your enemy. So I put it on the, the reason why, if you confuse, the reason why I'm saying the rappers is because y'all have the ability to bring people together. You have the ability to say some as a drill rapper. You have the streets respect. As an OG, you should bring niggas together and say, dog, because of what y'all niggas got going on, now our youngins, our young, are now being targeted and we don't have any help. No one is batting an eye. Because there were 52 fucking shootings. Who's going to feel sorry for us? We're eating ourselves. We just justified the whole movement. Operation Nike Check was too racist to implement before this. This is an operation that a racist cop made and brought it to the forefront and everybody laughed at him and the black police officer like you racist motherfucker the white motherfucker laughed and they just put that shit in the folder way back in the back and they got many more of these motherfucking operations that's too racist to put out unless 
there are extreme circumstance circumstances. And this is one this is blatantly obviously fucking racist. It's a car that's left running in the middle of the hood filled with Nikes. And because no one was dumb enough to jump in that bitch and ride off, they arrested anyone looking inside. If you come in, if you test the car, they arrested you. This was shown. My mixtapes picked up, picked up the store and it was shown. And people can say, oh, that's fucked up, that's fucked up. Why isn't anyone pushing for this to be put on CNN? And when it gets pushed to CNN, what's the first thing they're going to say? Well, uh, if I can speak frankly, um, we need to get the criminals off the road. And we figured that that's every one of the criminals that we caught uh, seemed to like that kind of car and that kind of shoe. We have to get answers for these murders. We have families that are grieving. And we're not going to we're not going to let, you know, um, people's hurt feelings stop us. We're going to do what we have to do to get these uh, bring these criminals to justice. We gave it to them. We gave it to them. I blame the Chicago and I don't give a fuck whatever next city that this shit take place in to where Y'all are going at each other and not the motherfuckers that are fucking y'all up. If you're going to go at anybody and the best way to go at them is put them out of a fucking job. Not by trying to ah, nah, look, I'm a, ah, nah. It's not that hard. You don't got to try to record them up. It's not that hard. Put them out of a fucking job. I don't give a fuck how you got to do it. Put them out of a job. It's on the head of the motherfuckers. The OGs, the niggas with the clout in that city is on y'all head. Because now police chief can say exactly what the fuck I just said. And everybody be like, right. even the black folks be like, oh, y'all understand. There's no sympathy. We've killed our sympathy. We don't get any sympathy. We look like savages. Or like Hillary Clinton said, we look like hyper predators. Get them off the street. Those aren't fucking little boys. Those are criminals. They kill people. You, in your music, in your interviews, Y'all aren't even, let me talk to you. I'm going to talk to you right fast. I'm going I'm to say some shit right here. I'm, I'm going to say something and take the, whoever got to take this shit the wrong way, take the wrong way. Whenever there's a goddamn interview dog, whether it be, whenever there's a goddamn interview, whether it be an in jail interview where it's CNN with the camera or any fucking body, whenever, my nigga, if you say that give me an example on Dateline or whatever the fuck like that MSNBC whatever uh, they doing in jail and they, they asking a the nigga in jail like you know what are you going to do when you get out you got you, you coming to the end of your 20 year series, uh, sentence uh, what you going to do when you get out oh, I'm going back to do the same thing it's all I know it's all I know I'm going back to do the same thing these motherfuckers can't hold me Even though they probably went and got the most retarded nigga out the dorm and shit like that, it was said. And it's building a fucking picture. The next shot in that picture is 52 shot. The next shot is another interview where it's a nigga on the street telling you, you know what I'm saying, why the fuck he banged? And what happened to a nigga? Motherfucker, I catch a motherfucker slipping. That's put up on somebody's channel. Whenever you see a nigga, if you go look up Thug, you're going to get just fucking that. And then, I'm going to tell you how it works. Look at all the interviews. Look at all the, 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 the video, fight videos, shooting videos, all that shit like that. 
Listen to the music. Everything is being done to make you understand that a nigga is really like that. Really, really like that for real. Now, a nigga get you, my nigga, you right now, you watching this video. You get bam. Uh, sweetheart, your brother get bam. Your daddy get bam. He dressed like this, but he's innocent of a case. You gonna have to go in that bitch and prove to them that you not like that. But what we've been learning, the jury that's gonna be uh, judging your case, who gonna have to come up with uh, the answer of whether you gonna see the light of day for the rest of your life or not, they, when they went and looked up people that look like you, that dress like the, the picture that we seen you in, they are really like that. They say, I'm gonna do this shit now, I lie to the judge, I lie to the jury. Now I'm going to do what I got to do to get out that motherfucker for my dog. Everywhere you go, niggas who look like you act like this. They think like this. They do shit like this. So no matter if you're guilty or not, you are automatically, for you looking the way you look, you're guilty. And you're going to have to prove to them that you're innocent. This is where guilty until proven innocent only applies to white people. Matter of fact, guilt, innocent until proven guilty is for everybody else but the black man. And it's our own fucking fault because we continue to give them every fucking picture that they goddamn need. My nigga, let me talk to you, dog. You can think this the craziest shit you ever heard in your fucking life, but I'm telling you, when you get in front of that motherfucking judge, dog, you need to understand what he sees. To them, we all look the same. You cannot tell them that you're not a thug with tattoos in your face. You can't tell them you're not a thug with tattoos on your neck. That's Pete, you dead right there on your hands. You dead automatically. We know you did it. But all that goddamn what I do ain't got nothing to do with them. I'm just living my life type shit. Hey, my nigga. It's y'all motherfucking fault that Trayvon Martin didn't get no motherfucking justice. We all know if that was a little white boy that they goddamn motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? The fuck is that nigga name? Fuck that nigga. If he shot a little white boy, that little white boy could have had a hoodie on and all kind of shit. If he shot a white boy, he would be doing life if not the fucking death penalty right now. Why the fuck is that? Because when you go anywhere online where you see niggas, you see the essence of what a nigga is. They have been taught to be scared of us because we taught them that shit. I don't blame you for being scared. I would have been scared too. These motherfuckers, liberal motherfuckers, get, get on the goddamn internet and talk all that shit like, ah, oh, he's a person like everybody else. Ah, oh, yeah, he's a fucking, ah, oh, you fucking racist. Get in the elevator with one of these motherfuckers, dog. Get around one of these motherfuckers where it's just you and them. Watch how scared they be. We like animals to them. And you just sitting around, steady fucking playing, dog. Trying to let every goddamn person on the planet know that you a real fucking killer. Knowing that you a hoe. Most of the niggas that's talking that shit is hoes. The nigga, see, we all look the same to them. So they think that nigga that's talking that shit is really about that shit. They think that this nigga that's talking that shit is also the nigga that you see on video shooting at a nigga. But them is two totally different niggas. The nigga that's on video shooting a nigga, that nigga don't do no motherfucking interviews. But in their mind, them niggas are synonymous. 
Does that make sense? So all that shit works into a motherfucking juror. I'm talking about a juror. When you're like, this shit ain't gonna make no sense to you until you catch that fucking charge in a couple months. Once you catch that charge in a couple months, or once your brother catch that charge in a couple months, your cousin catch that charge in a couple months, then you gonna understand what the fuck I'm saying. Like, damn, that nigga damn sure did say them jurors be looking at us like we fucking... Damn, dog. That's why they ban them like that. I know they finna ban them. I know they... We ain't got no money for no lawyers, so I, and they gonna give it that court-appointed lawyer, that court-appointed lawyer scared of them. Damn, dog, it's over with. Then it's gonna make sense. What I'm asking you is, hey, dog, can we just... If, if we could, I asked y'all motherfucker to wait 30 days, man, and don't get these motherfuckers no job to do. This all I'm asking right here. Hey, dog. Because y'all niggas with this interview shit, man, if y'all could, man, could y'all tone down all that goddamn, that, that bullshit ass gangster talk, dog? Come on. Hey, man, if you really about that shit, folk know you about that shit, man. But just for like I'm saying, just for a little minute, till we get some shit understood. Because these folk just put a bait call in the middle of the fucking hood and arrest the little nigga for looking in the car, dog. When you get on interview, dog, could you, like, could you calm down that bullshit ass war story talk, dog? Until we get this shit put together for a little second. Because some folks is hurting about this shit, dog. Big fat Paul came. Let me see that paper, dog.